And check this out. A viewer took this picture of a passing freighter that looked like it was floating on the air instead of the water. So in this week's Ask Ellen, I have a little bit of a meteorological explanation for what's happening with this phenomenon. This is what you're looking at is a mirage. And we had a few other viewers spot it, but in a slightly different way. In fact, this picture came in from Amy. She lives in West Olive and she said, I think we're seeing Milwaukee, which never happens. You're right. It's impossible to see across Lake Michigan if the atmosphere conditions aren't absolutely perfect. So this picture coming in from Grand Haven by Josiah, same thing. He's like, I'm pretty sure we're seeing Milwaukee lights. How is that even possible? Especially considering that we're almost 85, if not uh, longer, miles away, if you're talking about West Olive, from the Milwaukee area. Well, because of Earth's curvature, we can't see across Lake Michigan. We have about an eight inch rise per mile distance. So that's about a 60 mile spread that you'd be looking across Lake Michigan, looking uh, above and out. Plus the distance is just too far away in terms of what our eyes can see when we're sitting on flat grounds. So in order for the atmosphere to create this type of phenomenon, which is called a superior mirage, we need very cold water. In fact, these superior mirages that we see typically only happen late spring and early summer. So we only see these when the water is very cold and the air is very warm. This creates something called a temperature inversion. So our water temperatures out on Lake Michigan right now are in the 40s. Our air temperatures are in the 70s. When we have a very quiet day, it sets the stage to alter how we see across the lake and it can create those cool mirages.